All right, so earlier today, we got our first look of season three of The Chosen. We have two pieces of script that we're gonna take a look at. So let's do that and talk about what it means for season three. Welcome to this Night Life, where we talk about scripture, truth, and creativity. And we love talking about The Chosen here on this channel and talking about what the next steps are going to be for the show. Earlier today, Dallas put out a kind of impromptu video talking about the script of The Chosen for season three. And he was nice enough to give us a sneak peek of one of the scenes, the beginning scene, into season three. And talk about what they started with and where they kind of ended up after it was all said and done. So this is the first piece of script that we get that Dallas shows us. He tells us this is the first draft that Ryan wrote for the initial pass of the script. So let's read through this and discuss kind of the things that are behind it. Across the table, Matthew Cowers. It's 10 times the salary I could ever, and a thousand times the betrayal. Just by doing their math, Abba, I can assure us a better future. Future? You're short-sighted, mental defective. I'm not talking about our faith. Maybe I don't enjoy going to bed hungry. Alpheus slaps the rest of that sentence out of Matthew's mouth. Matthew looks more stunned than wounded. Alpheus, you will be grateful for what God has given us. I'm grateful for my mind. I will deliver to you one third of my first paycheck. I will spit on it, Alpheus says. So this was the original pass of the first scene written by Ryan. And the understanding here is that Matthew is about to become a tax collector. And how we already know that his father reacted is that his father disowned him. And so this is kind of the setting of that scene and Matthew making that choice to become a tax collector in the first place. Now, Dallas said that there was a fundamental problem with this part of the script, and I definitely agree. We've talked about Matthew a lot on this channel and the understanding that Matthew came from a background in which he was not the victim, right? He came from a background in which he did most likely take advantage of people and he did do something that was against what the Jewish people would have wanted him to and so within all of that this scene kind of perpetuates Matthew as that victim again if any citizen asks about my cargo I must tell the truth <laughs> it's the biggest pile of dung in all Capernaum <laughs> Now, a lot of people were mad during season one and season two, especially when Peter is yelling at Matthew. But the truth is that part of Peter is justified in that. Maybe not fully justified, but there's an understanding that maybe Matthew deserves it a little bit because Matthew did do many things in the past that were against Peter directly because Matthew as a tax collector would have been in opposition to all of his Jewish brothers and sisters in the area, and most likely taking advantage of them far beyond what he was asked to by the Romans. Do you even know what it's like to be Jewish? To suffer for centuries and centuries because of it, but to still commit to it? To protect our heritage even though it never stops being painful because the one comfort we have is to know that we're doing it together that we're all suffering together. But if, if we just wait a little longer, if we hold tight just a little more, we'll have rescue because we're chosen, all of us. And you betrayed that and you spit on it. I can't forgive it. I'll never forgive it. All right. You said what you needed to say. And then as Dallas continued speaking, he showed us this. This is the updated revised version of the opening of season three, still to do with Matthew, but in a little different way. He spoke to us a little bit about how this interaction between his father and him would be slightly different. It would be later on in his life when he's already a tax collector and there would be a Roman guard involved as well, helping Matthew to collect taxes from none other than his father, Alpheus. So the scene starts like this. Alpheus is humble home from a different era. The street is active, but not frantic. It's around AD 24. A Roman escort, we'll know him as Lucius, emerges and approaches the door then knocks and waits. So this is a new Roman guard who we have not met in the story so far. The door opens and reveals Alpheus, immediately nervous from the Roman's presence. Just like we saw him in season one, when the Roman came to the door, he was really, really nervous, right? All Jews would have been. Lucius says, Alpheus Barjorum. Yes? Lucius, reading. 
You are 20 days past your deadline for this quarter's tribute. Your collector has transferred your case to the Roman office. Are you able to pay your tribute penalty now? Alpheus. I filed for an extension in the month of... Lucius interrupts. I'll take that as a no. By decree of Quintus, honorable praetor of Capernaum, I will remand you into custody. Alpheus. I'm very sorry. I didn't realize... Lucius removes a strap from his waist belt. Turn around. Now, this is all we get from the physical script of reading it, but Dallas goes into more detail about how Matthew steps in to save his father and to help him in this situation, but also to get his tax. And so it does shift the story a little bit. It makes it so that Matthew is no longer this victim that's being taken advantage of by everybody, but he's actually collecting taxes from his father. And not only that, but he's using a Roman guard to help him do so, which doesn't really make it very clean, right? Doesn't make Matthew's actions very nice. And this leads to the full disownment of Matthew and his family. And Dallas called it a divorce between the two of them. So this is very interesting to see how the opening of season three is going to be focused on Matthew. And now we knew, if you saw in this video right here, I talked a lot about what's upcoming in season three. And one of the major things that we're gonna see is character development from Matthew to not only see where he's going in the future, but also seeing where he's come from and that big gap there. And Dallas just confirms this. He talks about how Matthew is gonna be an important role in season three. And these scripts are obviously a big evidence of that. This is a really interesting look into what the script writing process is like, but also Dallas's thoughts about Matthew in general. I think this is gonna give us really great insight into season three, and I can't wait to see how this episode pans out. So for me personally, I think that this scene could be done a million different ways, but one way that I would love to see it done is if Matthew were to learn how to be more deceitful over time, learn how to take advantage of people more and more over time. And so seeing him in his first experience in the tax booth, as someone is teaching him the ropes of how to calculate and make sure that everything is in order. And Matthew wants to do it accurately, right? Just like we see him in the show. And as he's doing it accurately, he is doing his job perfectly. But then his mentor begins to tell him, well, hey, you could charge a little bit more. You could take some and put it in your pocket. And seeing that kind of relationship build over time and seeing as Matthew gains more comfortability in taking advantage of people, I think this would show us a side of Matthew that we haven't seen yet, a side that would kind of justify the reactions that we see Peter and the other disciples have towards Matthew as they're being taken advantage of and as they're being harmed in their businesses and their homes by Matthew specifically, because it's more than just Matthew was a tax collector. He was their tax collector, which would make it very personal. And so I wonder if they're going to do anything with that in season three, but I guess we'll have to see. So what did you guys think about these script excerpts? Did you find them interesting? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Are you interested in seeing more in season three? Well, if you want to see what we think is going to come up in season three, make sure to watch this video right here. And other than that, I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for being part of our community and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.